Shalom. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shimei of Shai, by Shem Rakakodash. Double, double honors to the apostles, great millstone of GMS, and Shalom to the elect. If you're not cursed, you're fucked. Meaning, if you're not an Israelite, and you're not going through curses like the Israelites, you're fucked. All right, there's only one option for you. There's only one way. There's only one thing that's going to happen to you. Not an option. There's only going to be one thing that's going to happen to you. And that's you going into slavery. Okay? If you don't come from the nation of Israel, if your seed line or bloodline does not come back to one of the people of the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you will be going into slavery. Thus say the Lord. Okay? Because the kingdom of heaven is exclusively for the nation of Israel, for the nation of Yasharala, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, which you are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. You are the chosen people of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And Lord Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is chastising you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives because we went off as a nation and the Lord punished all of us as a nation. Okay? The Lord didn't punish one individual Israelite. He punished all Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? And if you're not going through the curses that the Israelites are going through, hey, that's a bad sign. All right? It may look, you know, to 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 you, you know, by you hearing this, you must be like, is this guy out of his fucking mind? What's this guy talking about? I don't know. I don't want to be cursed. It ain't a, a blessing thing to be cursed. Well, actually, it is a blessing thing to be cursed. Actually, you want to know why? Because it lets you know that you're an Israelite. Okay? And all the Israelites are cursed. We're the only people on the planet, the only nation on the planet Earth that are cursed. Are a, a people that's destroyed right now. Okay? And you other nations are on top. Most is not dealing with you other nations. Okay? Because if he was dealing with you, you would have been cursed too. And guess what? That's not scripture. Okay? That's not what happened. Okay? Now, what are one of the signs of the Israelites being cursed? Well, we can go through the curses right now here in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So no matter wherever, no matter wherever there's an Israelite on this planet earth, no matter what city, what country, that particular Israelite will be cursed, okay? The curses are going to be on you, all right? They're going to follow you, all right? No matter where you go, okay? And the field, meaning your work, your, your work, your workplace, all right? To be honest, you know, we're not really supposed to work, all right? But that's part of the curses, all right? And curse should not be in the field, all right? Because as a royal people, we're not supposed to be working. All right? We're supposed to have slaves. But it, sh it shows you that our own inheritance, which is slavery, because slavery was supposed to be an inheritance for the nation of Israel, became a curse unto us. Okay? Our own blessing became a curse unto us. All right? And these other nations are, are, are using it and, and abusing it, man. All right? And, and, and getting away with it, man. All right? Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Okay? Your businesses. You know, you see a, a so-called Negro, you know, try to set up a business. Well, that business is not going to last long. All right? Believe that that, that, some, that business will go out of uh, business. All right? No matter what type of business you try to set up, it will shut down. All right? And if it be the Lord's will, he may have it, you know, to where it lasts. And, you know, you might make something, you you might make something, you know, it might be big, 
but that's if it's the Lord's will, okay? You know? Curse shall, shall be thy fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep, All right? The fruit of thy body, meaning our kids, our children, okay? And the fruit of thy land, all right, our crops, all right, and and our and our cattle and so forth, all right. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. All right, you're gonna be born cursed and you're gonna go away cursed. All right, you're gonna pass on being cursed. As, you know, there's countless of Israelites, you know, especially the celebrities. You know, a good one is uh, Michael Jackson, all right? He was born cursed, and he went out cursed, all right? You see what the stuff that happened to him, all right? Which, you know, I believe is true, you know? The guy was a, a, a pedophile, a faggot, right? but but you saw how they, you know, how he went out, man. Why? Because he was an Israelite. And the Lord... Doesn't um doesn't care, man. Who you are, if you're big in the society or not, you're gonna be cursed, man. All right. All these celebrities that sold, they sold. Guess what? You still cursed. Jay Z, Beyonce, uh, you know Drake. All all these uh, Negroes that sold out, Latinos that sold out. All right, in the industry, you, you curse, man. All right. Lord, don't discriminate. Uh, if you're rich or, or poor. I'm talking about the Israelites, not you other nations, okay? I know, and... <clears throat> I keep reading these, these curses, alright? But, you know... You people know... That <clears throat> these people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, are destroyed, all right? You know that, or you know we're destroyed as a people, all right? And you abuse that, all right? And it's not hard to see, all right? All you got to do is go into the hood, and, 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 it, and it'll explain itself, okay? No one needs to, you know, be next to you and tell you, oh, yeah, this... See, this is, you know, this is how they live in. No, man. A picture can tell a lot, man. A picture tells a, a thousand words, all right? When you go into the hood, you, you already see how we're living, man, as a people. Okay, you see how our people are, all right? No one needs to give you a, a tour or, or, or tell you how these people are living, Okay? Curses speak for themselves. All right. Another scripture that I want to bring out is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Okay. And it reads, And they shall be upon thee for Salaki. Let me see if I... This is Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Okay, so these are the signs, alright, to let you know who the Israelites are today walking, alright? Our people are looked down upon on the planet Earth, not just in America, but on the whole planet Earth, okay? Everybody disrespects us, all right? And that's a big sign, man, okay? Like the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, um, uh, 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 I forgot how it goes, but where it said, um, 
Are these the people? Um, somewhere around those lines, uh, you know, basically we become a, 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 a byword, okay? Amongst these nations, man, all right? They laugh at us, man. They don't respect us, okay? Call you niggers, wetbacks, okay? Tomahawks, okay? <clears throat> they treat you like shit at the jobs, all right? We're really not supposed to be treated like that, all right? Because we're royal people, man. And if we were in our power, man, we would have put, would have whooped your ass, you other nations, man. But guess what? We don't have the power, all right? We don't have any power, all right? We're powerless right now. All right, because the Mosai took our power away from us, and he put it on on our enemies, and the number one enemy he put it on is Esau, the so-called white man. All right, and the so-called white man knows we're cursed. All right, and he, and he takes advantage of that. All right, and this is why the Lord is going to destroy you, so-called white people, the nation of Edom. All right, you Edomites. All right, because you're not white, you're red. Okay, Esau means wasted away. All right, meaning you have your color was your melon. Was was stripped from you, okay? And Edom means red, all right. That red meat you saw you uh, you you your blessing for, man. Which is why you so called white people like eating a uh, a uh, uh, red meat, man. All right. You don't like uh your meat being well done, okay? You like it red with blood, just like your skin tone is red. All right, you know, you know if 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 you're not an Israelite man, it's not looking good for you, man. All right, and the only way you know if you're an Israelite, you know, as well. All right, is um the Book of Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. Okay, this is another sign: the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Thy power. All right. So if your spirit reson resonates with this word, chances are you 100% you are an Israelite, all right? And if it doesn't, then, you know, you're going into slavery, all right? Point blank, period, all right? Now, yeah, you're going to have some of our people that are not going to believe in this word, all right? They might be Israelites that don't believe in the Bible, all right? Because there are Israelites that don't believe in the Bible, all right? But does that mean that they're going into slavery? No, man. They're still going to inherit the kingdom. But it's just that the Lord is not going to, you know, save them. All right? The Lord is going to destroy them. All right? And they have to bring them back in the kingdom. Okay? And then they're going to know. Then they're going to be in their right mind. You know? Then they're going to know that they were Israelites. All right? They're going to know the whole truth. All right? And you other nations are going to know the truth, man. All right? When you when you in slavery, man. All right? It's not looking good for you or the nations if you're not an Israelite, all right? And the scriptures say, man, all right, that we are a peculiar people, all right? Unto the unto your um Yahweh by Shimei Shai, okay? Why? Because the the Lord chose us, man, all right? He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to follow. He didn't give it to everybody, man, all right? And it's only the Israelites that can break the laws, statutes, and commandments, all right? And and, and repent, man. Un repentance is only given to the nation of Yasharala, all right? Only a so-called Negro, Latino, Native can repent. Not a so-called Chinese or white person, because you're not Israelites, man. Only Israel can repent, man. The laws were given to the nation of Israel from the, all the way from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. It talks about the children of Israel, man. Okay? This is our book. Okay? And you other nations have no part in it, man. All right? And we don't care if you don't have no part in it, man. Because we don't care about you. All right? We only care about our people and, and, our, and ourselves being Israelites, man. Okay? All right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Yaquab, his statutes and his judgments unto Yasharala. Okay. 
So the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. Okay, he 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 didn't say uh, he showed his word unto the world, unto all nations, and his statutes and judge, his judgments unto all nations. This right here proves that the Mosai has favorites, man. All right, and this right here shows racism, man. The first sign of the Mosai being a racist is him by is him choosing a, a people unto himself, man. That's and a lot of people don't even see that, man. That that's racist. But they still want to say God loves everybody. So if God loved everybody, how come he didn't choose everybody to be his people? How come he didn't give his law, statutes, and commandments to the whole people? Because he's not dealing with everybody, man. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. All right? And a lot of people, you know, are, are too demonic to accept that, man. Okay? Right here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. All right? For thou art an, an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. A special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right? So that's racism, man. Okay? That has favorites, man. Okay? And it's not hard to see, okay? But a, a demonic person that doesn't want to accept, you know, that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you know, are the only people that God is really, is, is dealing with, the Israelites, all right? The Lord is going to destroy that, 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 that person, man. Especially if he's an Israelite, all right? All right? Because you have Israelites out there that are Uncle Tom's, man. I talk about God loves everybody. That's not scriptural, man. Okay? But not to go off topic, man. Like I was saying, man. Look, if you're not cursed, you're fucked, man. Okay? You are fucked, okay? And the only reason why, you know, we're under these curses is because we went off, okay? Like it says here in the book of Baruch, chapter 40, 4, 4, verse 6, you were sold to the nations and not for your destruction. But because ye moved thy power to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. Okay, it says ye were sold to the nations, man. Meaning we were going into slavery under these other nations. All right? Not for our destruction, but because we moved the power to wrath, man. We moved Yahweh by Shem Yashai to wrath. All right, we didn't, we didn't follow his law, statutes, and commandments. All right? So he gave us up to our enemies. All right? And now our enemies are ruling over us. Okay? And our number one enemy is Esau, the so called white race. Okay. You know, and, and you know, as a people of the Most High, you know, yeah, we're cursed, all right. But but that's a a, a good sign, man. That's a positive bless. That's a blessing, actually, if you really look at it, because it lets us know that we're Israelites, man. All right. It lets you know that you're an Israelite, man, and it lets you know that the more. You, you have a chance to repent. You know, the kingdom of heaven is for you, man. All right? And the Lord is dealing with you only, man. You, you, uh, if you're an Israelite, all right? He's not dealing with all nations, man. All right? Because all nations, you know, are living it up, man. It's like I said before, man. If you're not cursed, you're fucked, man. And you're probably scratching your head. Well, why would you, well, why would you want to be cursed? Well, because if you're cursed, it means you're an Israelite. And if you're not, you're going into slavery. If you're a heathen. If you're not cursed, that means you're a heathen and you're going into slavery. Alright? No matter what nations of the heathens you are, you you're all going all you heathens going into slavery together. Alright? Because you have to pay for what you did to the nation of Israel. Alright? You put us in slavery, you rape, rob the murderers, you abuse us, you you know you, you, you go, you know, you do, you go way too far, man. All right, and the Lord is gonna visit you, nations, you know, for what you did to us. Okay. If you're not cursed, you're fucked, man. Okay, like the scriptures say, man. All right. Um. You know. He who, live, he who leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay? 
and you other nations, you know, all you did was put these uh, the Israelites in, in, um, in slavery, man. Starting with the Egyptians, you know, and so on, man. Okay. Israel went in, in, un, under countless um, times into slavery, man. Right? It's like the only thing Israel knows, man. Jake knows is slavery, man. Right? Our people are constantly being oppressed. Right? Our people are uh, depressed. Right? And they try to do anything, you know, to, just to escape these curses, man. But guess what? Like I said before, man. You could be LeBron James. But guess what? He's still cursed, man. Okay? If he's not cursed, then tell me... Uh, uh, yeah, you know, um, tell me why then... You know, you had a couple of people break into his house and call him a nigger and shit. You know, graffitied his, his wall and called him a nigger. 